so obviously the year is coming to an end thankfully yes. and um do you have any do you have any sort of um big plans for 2021 a- anything that stands out or are you just waiting to see sort of how it pans out with all the covid stuff and then making the big plans definitely i'm a kind of guy like i'll cross that bridge when i get mm-hmm. to it kind of guy I don't like to plan out too much stuff because I'll be annoyed if I plan something and then it doesn't work. So. Oh, well, we, we had that this year, didn't we? Yeah, with, uh, true. Ultra. True. true Miami Ultra. Nah, don't. You'll make me sad. You'll make me Yeah, so bit. me and Vic actually had booked. Everything was ready for Miami Ultra. Mm-hmm. Vic, obviously, with all of his DJ plugs, managed to sort us out some banging tickets. Artist passes. Oh, it was my gonna, and it was like, God. God. Do it like that. Like oh. Oh. Bro, they don't even have a, they don't even have a backstage. Uh, Miami Ultra, they just have a yacht that oh, sits oh. on the. So you're trying to tell me we were going to be on a yacht? Just chilling. Oh like my! Like one of those, like one of those fuck off five story yachts with like food, drink, everything oh. on the bay- Miami Bayfront Park water, it's vibing. And I was about to live a moment we of that were, Vicstar lifestyle. It was, and it was, it was sounds, about to be good. That unbelievable. And it, it, it was literally about like what a week, you not even like five days before. Five, yeah, they cancelled it. Yeah, five days before. I'm like, even then, I was like. Just Come on, just give me give me a week. Give me a week and I'll yeah. get on that flight and I'll do it up. Now that was pain. That's pure and pain. And for me as well. So I went to Miami Ultra in I think 2015, 2016, 2017, where it was at Bayfront Park, which is right in the middle of Miami, like middle of downtown mm-hmm. Miami. Such like a sick place because you go and you like so easily go out in Miami afterwards. It finishes at like 1, 2 a.m. All the clubs open. Yeah. Quality. And then they moved it onto the Keys, like some like islands off Miami. Yeah, that's like a beautiful area though. That yeah, area, right? which actually I think people there complained about because they're like, you're bringing a whole festival to our like right. na- like natural like island thing. But the problem is there's one bridge uh-huh. that leads to the Keys. Oh, so you've got how many 80,000 people going there. You've got like shuttles that are supposed to bring people to and from. Mm-hmm. And from what I heard, like every year it was just a nightmare. It was just, yeah. you were waiting for ages and ages to get off there. Um, so I was like, when it goes back to Bayfront Park in Miami, I'm there. Mm-hmm. 2020 is happening. Yeah. Hit up like my Australian friends, Canadian friends, you yeah. boys. I'm like, yes, this is going to be unreal. And then it just, just what we what we were joking about became very real. We were actually taking a piss. We were like, oh, oh ha, ha, ha. imagine if COVID cancels it. Mm-hmm. Little did we know it went and absolutely fisted all of my summer plans. I had Tomorrowland set up. Oh, I don't had, stop. Oh, oh. Big, there were hey. so many big plans. Was there anything else that you had that, that ended up getting cancelled? No, those were, I mean, just, just generally excited to do a lot of yeah. kind of traveling. Like I wanted to go to Australia this winter. Yeah. Like that was the big thing. Like I think it was actually, yeah, last winter uh, around, yeah, January went to Australia for like two and a half weeks. I felt like I'd cheated the universe. Yeah. Because yeah. I'd gone from like freezing cold England to 30 degree summer sun in Australia. And I was like, I've, I've hacked the system. I've got, yeah. I've duplicated summer. I'm having a second summer in the same year when it's like usually like cold and miserable like it is now. So I was like, yep, definitely doing that again next year. Again, a load of my good friends live out there, go mm-hmm. see all their houses, so much to do. That's, that's a big one that like- So th- there's about. definitely something that I would like to say. Yeah. And Australia, look- Chippo's just next his drink. It's going to be a long one. Um, <laughs> I would like to say just something briefly on Australia, yeah? Fuck Australia. Oh, yeah? Really? And uh, let me tell you why, yeah? yeah? These Donnies will just have a snake chilling in their living oh, room. Oh, okay. Yeah? <laughs> Have you seen these videos? I've seen the there was videos. just a snake just chilling in their living room and they're like and, and they'll be like, Oh, look, another snake in my living room and they'll just poke it with a stick and expect it to leave. It's like, no, that is now the snake's house. This is no longer your what house. What if it's a friendly they're, though? They're not afraid though. They're like I've meet these people and well, the Australians aren't afraid. The, and the thing they always throw around is they're like, I think in the last like thirty years or something, no one has died from a venomous bite. That's waffle. That that ma- that got to a hospital. So like they yeah, so, so that's the whole point. Oh, so they got to hospital, so they die before they get to the hospital. <laughs> How like, many of those thousands? <laughs> no, the, the way they're saying it is they're like everyone, like every big city. Unless you're out in the sticks, like if you're in any city, you can get to a hospital within an hour that has all the anti venom. Like right, you will be right. like you will be fine. So like no one's like yeah. So that's why they're not there together. Like oh, if I get bitten, yeah. whip down to the local. <laughs> Hit me with the anti venom, job done. So is it really yeah. as cash as that? Do you yeah, reckon? that's that's their outlook on it. Yeah. What about the spiders? Oh, same bro, thing. Same don't thing. start with them. The, same those thing, little, though, like, they those just... donnies. Those are big dons. Like. I didn't see any. I didn't see any like 
spiders or snakes when I was there, though. Oh, yeah, really? it, in like the built-up areas, you're probably all right. Yeah. It's when you start going out. I mean, like uh, we're out in like the suburbs um, at Lachlan's house and nah, nothing really. The, the, those guys got mega houses out there now. Yeah. They're, they're Big boys. They're like, nice. like the old Sidemen one. I mean, very different. Really? Probably not quite as big, but you would, would never want to live somewhere not. quite as big. Yeah, that, that was it. That was a, that, that house was oh, very weird. It was weird. It was. What, what did you think? What was what was it like living in there? Ah, he's got <laughs> as a title. What was it like living in the side man house? Yeah, he's Fine. good at this. Yeah, he's <laughs> good at this. It's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's, okay. Ne- it's, never, it's never gonna you know it's I never gonna work with, with everyone. Go. But here we go. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, it was weird because everything was nice, but the house was so big that it was like spread apart. So. It, I mean, it kind of worked for us because we were four kind of separate people living in the same house. So we all had our own kind of like area to like be in. Like my mm-hmm. room was low key like my apartment. I had a little mini fridge yeah, in there, my mad. drink. And like, if I didn't leave, need to leave, I just would just- Well, especially in back there. in that time, you guys definitely did a lot more like gaming related. You, it was definitely, you didn't need yeah. to leave your room to make the videos you needed to make. Now, obviously with Sidemen doing the stuff that it's doing, like, obviously there's a lot more, there's a lot more leaving your room involved. But in that sense, the, the house yeah. was pretty banging. Yeah, but one thing that was like weird is that actually we always ended up in the kitchen. Do you ever remember coming yeah. to the house? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. everyone sat around the kitchen island and it's like, this is such a massive house that could have like a really nice, like open plan, like living room, like sitting area, like, but we just like- Did you actually have a living room with a couch? We I did. don't remember. We did. And oh, it was, their it living was, room was, it no was, one would ever go. No, it was so used far. It. it was like the diagonal opposite side of the house. And I guess the vibe is like, you always want like a snack and a drink. Yeah. And everyone just like, we're always like eating, sitting. So we'd always end up in the kitchen. And like, you wouldn't think to like grab a drink and like, it was, it was actually like, it sounds stupid, but it was long. Like to grab a drink Bro, and walk over to the living the room. the richest shit I've ever heard, you I'd know. I'd probably get a stick. <laughs> <laughs> the water in the fridge was not, a, it wasn't a joke. Bro, Going from the, the fridge to like up I, to I, the top. To these these, these guys are timing their 5K going to a fridge. Yeah, yeah they've got Strava out. <laughs> but I, no, I remember going around there, you walk in and you yeah. say hello and you just hear an echo around the house. Yeah, yeah it, it was it, mad. It, it was, was crazy, crazy, but you guys had a nice pool in there that ended up uh, getting like it, it just pretty much wrecked. Yeah, rack a rack of video. Yeah, <laughs> couple couple broken glass windows and the glass went into the pool and messed up the pool. Right. Oh, yeah. so wait, how did you sort that out? We didn't. <laughs> you just literally. <laughs> does it, does what are we gonna do? That's, does the, the specialist owner of the house did he, did he find out? Or are we? No, he we, did find. No, he, he did find out. Yeah. Look, if I speak, I'm in trouble. If I speak, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Look, I, I, you know what? It's so funny because I was itchy about I bring up a, a certain uh, thing that we had uh, at the house, but I'm uh, I'm gonna allow it just in case if you it speak, gets you're together. in trouble. Yeah, if, if I speak, and I know I'll have the other boys on my case when this comes out, so we'll skip past that. But the house was very uh, useful for many different reasons. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, and, it was good for like yeah. creating content for four kind of separate people living. Yeah. But as like as far as like a house goes, it's, it wasn't homely it was, at all. No, no, not at all, and everything. Like the gym, we got really good use out of the gym towards like the end of living there. That was quite good. Yeah. But like the cinema room, I think we went in there like all the like twice to watch anything. Yeah. Um, like the living room never got touched. Like yeah, the dining so table, stuff. no one ever sat at the dining table. That, that's the thing is when you see these things and you go around the house, you're like, yeah, this is sick. This mm. is sick. But how much of this shit yeah, are you actually yeah. using? It's like the wave house. You've seen the wave house? Yeah, I've seen it. Like, I, trust me, it's easy to get gap. Like you look around and you go, fucking hell, look at all this cool shit. I mm. promise you these lot don't spend hardly any time in all of these cool spots of the room yeah. all you need yeah awesome. is the kitchen the living room a nice bedroom yep. and you know what treat yourself to a pool and you can you're allowed to use that occasionally <laughs> but like shit like the cinema room or whatever it's cool to have but really so you don't use it, it doesn't get used nah. ever no. never it just doesn't happen it doesn't happen but my place right now the one i'm staying at with harold it's fucking small like if you can if you think about it like people always think oh youtubers you're living in some mad place like it's even the same as you like you you're living in a really nice place yeah but, it, but it's need, not it's not need yeah it's not huge no you don't no. i haven't been uh, to i haven't been to your new flat I've actually i moved in just before it, covid so no, no one's been no, allowed no one's been, yeah. like people would have been i liked around. the last one the yeah. last one was myself to be fair mm. 